share with you my favourite tourist destination in Sydney. And it's not the Opera House, it's not Bondi Beach, but it's right here at the Sydney Fish Markets. If you really want to discover what a town has to offer, then you've got to go to their markets. And there is none better in Australia than right here. You get everything. You get to see some colourful locals. You get to see the most amazing produce from all around Australia and even other parts of the world. And you can really take advantage of all your senses. Taste, touch, sight and smell. Now we're going to make for you a chilli prawn pizza. Now, I love this because when I had my restaurants, this was the most popular pizza and it flew out the door. I mean, who doesn't like pizza and who doesn't like prawns? Put them both together, you've got a winner. All right, first thing we need to do is roll out the dough. A little bit of flour on the bench. You need to roll the dough super thin because I don't want the dough to be the predominant factor with the pizza. I want that beautiful produce, especially here, those prawns to shine. Now we could top the pizza here and then try to get it into the pizza oven, but we're gonna run into problems because the toppings are gonna fall off. So what we do is we just get a piece of baking paper and we just lift that onto the paper. This is a nifty little device, it's called a docker. It's basically a fork on wheels. And you run that across the top of the dough and you can see all the perforations. This ensures that it cooks evenly and you don't get huge air bubbles erupting when the heat works with the yeast that's in the dough. Now to make the sauce, it's really easy. I've got a tin of whole peeled tomatoes here that have been lightly crushed. To that, we're gonna add some dried oregano or oregano if you're from the States. We're going to add some salt and pepper. And that is it. That is the simplest sauce in the entire world. Now we just put it on the pizza. I've left it a little bit chunky, but if you like a more refined version, just pop it into the blender or the food processor. But I quite like these chunks of tomato. It looks real. Make sure you spread it all the way to the edge of the pizza dough. There we go, nice and even. To that, we're going to add some cheese. Now, I like to add two cheeses. This is a basic mozzarella you get from any supermarket or any convenience store. And this is my glue. This is what sticks all the beautiful toppings to the pizza. Now, this is where I spend a little bit more money and I buy a beautiful cheese. This is buffalo milk mozzarella. Now, one ball should do about two to three pizzas and you just tear it in your hands. This is a great job for the kids to do. We've got some local prawns here. These are from the Northern Territory and they're Austral Fisheries prawns and they've been MSC certified, which means they're a sustainable wild farm product. It's great to see that some of the Australian fisheries are now being certified sustainable. So just place the prawns on. I've got about six on there. Next is some roasted capsicum. You can roast them until they're nice and black on the outside, then peel the skins off. Or you can just go to the deli and buy some already done for you. Next is the tomatoes, and I just need to cut them in half. I just slice each one into three. And also here at the fish markets, there's a wonderful fruit and veg shop. So we just scatter the tomatoes around the pizza. When you're thinking about your ingredients for your pizza and where to put it. You want every mouthful to be an explosion of flavour. Pop it into the pizza oven. This gets up to 350, whereas your normal domestic oven only gets to 220, 250. So it cooks your pizza quicker and crispier. And turn down the dial from preheat to thin. This will ensure that within five minutes you get a beautiful crispy crust pizza. Now the pizza's going to be delicious just like that, straight out of the oven. But I want to make a sauce to go over the top. Not only is it going to add flavour, but it's going to make it look absolutely stunning. This is a salsa verde. Fresh basil leaves, parsley leaves, with some toasted pine nuts, some capers. Going to add a nice salty flavour and a bit of acidity too. Some gherkins. Some anchovies, extra salt, and the seafood flavour from them works so well on this pizza. And because it's a seafood pizza, I like to team it with some fresh lemon juice. Some salt, 
some pepper and some extra virgin olive oil. Pop the lid on. Okay, that is beautiful. That is what we're after. And I can see that we're ready to take the paper out. So very simply, just remove the paper. And that's gonna need about two more minutes. Okay, let's get this salsa verde out of the mixer. Look at that colour. The great thing about this pizza oven is you can look into the window and see how your pizza's cooking. It's nearly there. And there it is, look at that. That is beautiful. So we'll just transfer that onto the chopping board. Now with the pizza oven itself, if you look at the stone, it looks quite messy. Now a lot of people want to wash that. Now water is the number one enemy for the pizza stone because it's porous. If you put water onto it, it traps water. Next time you go to cook your pizza, you're going to get soggy pizza. So just let it cool down. Once it's cool, give it a good scrape and then you're ready to go again. Okay, and to finish it off, the salsa verde over the top, the colours, the flavours, the smells and the texture as good as going to the fish markets. Okay. And that just took about five minutes in the oven. And there you have it, chilli prawn pizza. Thanks to the Sydney fish markets, we love you. That is delicious.